What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So, today's video is gonna be a little bit different than usual. Um, today's video is a fishing video. So if you look behind me, you'll see that I have a fishing backpack on. I have no idea if that overhead thing works, but I certainly hope it did. Um, anyway, I have all my fishing gear here, and today's video is gonna be a fishing video. So, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I'll see you at the water. What's up guys? We made it to the water. Uh, as you can see, it's awfully full. So, uh, and because I'm relatively new at fishing, I don't really know how water level affects the fish. Um, I hope it means there are more of them, but I have a feeling that it's just gonna sort of dilute them so that there are fewer fish per area of water. I have no idea if that makes any kind of sense in the fishing world, but that's just my theory for now. Let's check this out. This is usually my little, uh, beach place for me to cast out into the river well now it's underwater so we're gonna have to find another spot that's that's potentially a good bank to cast from i think um also this could work and we'll see i don't know i don't know this used to be a beach as well and it's totally gone so um anyway i hope this works out honestly guys regardless if i catch a fish or not i'm just happy to be out here because it's may it's spring and I'm just really happy to be outside and it's fun to bring you along. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna unload my bag and I'll kind of show you what I have with me. All right guys, so this is my fishing bag. Um, it's LL Bean, so you know that's good quality. Um, the thing I like about it most actually is that, hold on while I undo this with one hand. Um, it comes with this sort of plastic stuff. So that means when this is all the way rolled up, it's practically watertight, so. It was, if somehow a massive wave comes out of here, it is not going to be an issue at all. Anyway, in here I have a couple things. Uh, this is just a, a lure box. These lures I'm not using right now. This is where the real deal is located. All right, this rod is a uh, Daiwa. Daiwa. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce this thing, um, but I do know that it catches fish because. Last summer, I was pulling lots of fish out of here, up to 10 fish an hour. So chances are we're not going to be able to replicate that right now, mainly because it's super early spring. And I have a feeling that the fish are still kind of asleep. So. There we go. Reel is on. Now we're going to put on this first section there. And it's fairly simple, really. You just sort of put on, start with the biggest section, move down in size. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. I like it. All right, second to last piece right here. String's a little bit tangled. That's okay. Oh, no, it's a knot. See that? not good news ah boom I undid the knot we're ready to go now I just have to select a lure <laughs> we're gonna start on this bank I think mainly because it's super open and I'm not a big fan of getting caught in trees over there so I think this is a pretty good idea to start with all right guys these are the lures we're working with take a look at these conditions take a look at these lures if you're a good fisherman let me know which one of these you would have started out with. I'm gonna go with this center one here. See what I mean? This one right there. I'm gonna go with that. But if you have more knowledge than I do about this, uh, and chances are you probably do, um, let me know which one you would have used. All right, I don't know about you, but this is a practically perfect rig here. Ready for this? Flip that back. We're gonna put it up current and we're gonna float it downstream. Ready? Boom. Boom, we're in. Gonna let that drift down. Hopefully we can get something on this. Um, and to be honest, I'm not really expecting to, but um, nonetheless, it would be a lot of fun, I think. Yep. So if you don't come from around here, this is a part of the world um, called Ipswich, Massachusetts. Um, it's a beautiful town, really. It's not the one I live in, but it's pretty close by. And, um, oh, it's a cardinal. And it's just super nice, I think. I mean. We have tons of open water like this, and if it turns out you enjoy this video, 
let me know and I will try fishing in another place. And also keep in mind that the fishing is gonna get better and better as the season goes on. So, um, okay, that this is not going great. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move over here, I think. It's looking to be a little bit tricky to cast out of here, but we'll do our best. My GoPro is at 6% right now, so I may have to transfer it to my phone, uh, phone camera at some point, but this one's better, so I'm gonna use it as long as I can. <laughs> okay, it's about to die. I'm gonna to switch to my phone. What's up, guys? We swapped the phone video. It's a little bit worse, but it's the best we can do. Um, to show you what I was doing before, check this out. Look at that. How awesome of a chest rig is that? I don't think we could do any better, to be honest. All right, let's get back out to fishing. <laughs> Casting right into there. I really hope it works. If, if I catch a fish, I'm gonna be so happy and I'm sure you're hoping I catch a fish too because that's why you're watching this. All right guys, I'm on my way out right now. Uh, I have news for you. So, turns out when my GoPro battery died, I put my phone in my, in my uh, chest rig there and uh, I just realized that I've been recording in portrait mode for the entire time. So that's just hilarious. Um, classic mistake of me not really like thinking about what I'm doing at all so uh, but I have no idea if that's going to be usable at all um, the majority of my fishing was done in portrait mode uh, and all the things I was talking about uh, but I also have news that I didn't catch anything so I didn't catch anything uh, I was in portrait mode uh, overall just useless stuff so uh, I probably won't include that part, so, so yeah, just an update, I guess. Um, as I was telling you recently in the portrait mode recording, um, my uh, my string here is running out. Uh, I uh, got a knot in it, and I was like, oh, let me just sort of pull string out of there, and that'll help. Well, guess what? When I was reeling it back. Um, it got a little bit tangled and I pulled on it to try to get it untangled and it broke. So I lost a huge amount of line and now I only have this little bit of line left. It's not even enough for a full cast. And so uh, I'm just sort of gonna uh, drop it into the river right there and sort of uh, do my very best to swim it up the river. I don't know how that well that's gonna work. Um, so I'll let you know if I catch anything. All right, guys, that was quite possibly the least eventful fishing expedition I've ever been on. Um, here I am with my worn out um, spool of line here. There is no line left. That's okay, I have more, um, but it's not with, with me right now, so I'm gonna have to go and put it on again. That'll be the next video, I guess. Uh, like considering if this one does well or not, but we'll see. Uh, I'm sorry that we couldn't catch anything today. Believe me, I'm the one fishing. I would, of course, want to catch a fish, uh, but it didn't happen. So, um, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Um, and for me, it was just fun to try a new kind of video. So yeah, maybe we'll do it again. I hope so. Uh, and next time we're gonna catch a fish, okay? I can practically promise you. I can't promise you, but I can, I can severely, I can hope. I can hope as much as I can. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, um, feel free to subscribe and also like the video because that is a huge help in the YouTube algorithm for me. So I'd really appreciate it if you could do that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.